Chapter 39 It happened when Jerusalem was taken, in the ninth year of Zedekiah king of Judah, in the tenth month, came Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and all his army against Jerusalem, and besieged it, in the eleventh year of Zedekiah, in the fourth month, the ninth day of the month, a breach was made in the city, that all the princes of the king of Babylon came in, and sat in the middle gate, even near Galsharazer, Samgar Nebo, Sarsichim, Rapsuris, Nergal Sheresher, Rabmag, with all the rest of the princes of the king of Babylon. It happened that, when Zedekiah the king of Judah, and all the men of war saw them, then they fled, and went forth out of the city by night, by the way of the king's garden, through the gate between the two walls, and he went out toward the Arabah. But the army of the Chaldeans pursued after them, and overtook Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho. And when they had taken him, they brought him up to Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, to Riblah in the land of Hamath, and he gave judgment on him. Then the king of Babylon killed the sons of Zedekiah in Riblah before his eyes. Also the king of Babylon killed all the nobles of Judah. Moreover he put out Zedekiah's eyes, and bound him in fetters to carry him to Babylon. The Chaldeans burned the king's house and the houses of the people with fire, and broke down the walls of Jerusalem. Then Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive into Babylon the residue of the people who remained in the city, the deserters also who fell away to him, and the residue of the people who remained. But Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, left of the poor of the people who had nothing in the land of Judah, and gave them vineyards and fields at the same time. Now Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, gave charge concerning Jeremiah to Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, saying, Take him, and look well to him, and do him no harm, but do to him even as he shall tell you. So Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, sent, and Nebuchadnezzar, Rapsuris, and Nirgal, Shadaser, Rabmag, and all the chief officers of the king of Babylon, they sent and took Jeremiah out of the court of the guard, and committed him to Gedaliah, the son of Ahakam, the son of Shaphan, that he should carry him home. So he lived among the people. Now the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, while he was shut up in the court of the guard, saying, Go and speak to Abedmelech the Ethiopian, saying, Thus says the Lord of armies, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring my words on this city for evil and not for good, and they shall be accomplished before you in that day. But I will deliver you in that day, says the Lord, and you shall not be given into the hand of the men of whom you are afraid, for I will surely save you, and you shall not fall by the sword, but your life shall be for a prey to you, because you have put your trust in me, says the Lord.' 